Good evening from Vancouver, British Columbia. Hockey fans, we are at General Motors Place, the arena the Canucks call home. Welcome to NHL Hockey here on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Bob Cole and with me is Harry Neal. The season is winding down, but these two teams are ready to go. The Vancouver Canucks have had a few good hockey teams over the last few years, but they have not been able to get to the cup finals. They're trying to do it for the third time. 1982 was one, and 1994 was another. Both times they lost to a New York area team. The Canucks are a defensive style team that relies number one on its net mining. And their net mining has been number one. Bob, the quality goaltending on this team provides the fans with highlight reel material game in and game out. And when you combine that with their team speed, and they are fast, you've got some kind of hockey team. Your goalie has to have some nights when he's not busy. If you've got a team that can skate and you're helping your goaltender with those easier nights, you'll win a lot more games. It's time it's to start time. tonight's game, time Center to Ice. Let's make some the Canucks start the game with the puck. Oh, and here come the Canucks. Denis was in the crouch position on that last save with the blocker. Boy, he makes this game look easy. Now Columbus into the zone. Kluche makes the pass to the defenseman. Nasland controlling the puck at Center Ice. And it was stopped by that right pad. Oh, and it deflects off the post. He centers the puck. He and that's a great goal. Right out of the gates. And the home team up on top, 1-0. What a way to start the game. Well, here's a beautiful saucer pass to set this goal up. It could not have happened without that assist. Gorgeous play. Sometimes plays like that go unnoticed. But I'll tell you what, his coach noticed it. Superb job. They're in position to start up the action. The Canucks, Canucks are happy goal. about the go-ahead goal here in the first period. Start They'd like to keep that Number lead seven. and expand Brandon. on it if they can. Nasland with the puck at center. Ninth here goal. come the Canucks for the chance. Oh, and Denis makes the stop, line. keeping the deficit at just one. Marcus Nasland. Nash carries the puck and into the corner. Number the Nash. And along Third the boards with the puck, it's passed to the point. Time Down the in the corner. 2 4 of the first period. The puck controlled, and it ricochets off the crossbar. Nasland sends the puck up center ice. From Morrison over to Bertuzzi. Skating along the boards, he has the puck. Nasland from Bertuzzi has it behind the net. The puck sent to the defenseman. Herdina has it at center ice. The shot. Kluche makes the stop. His team leading by just the one goal. To the He scores! And they come back right away to tie this game. Lots of action here early in the first period tonight. Forget the goal. How about this pass? Well, he flipped it over to his man on target. And the shooter did the rest. I'll tell you, Bob, he could not have flipped it any better if he was making those hot pancakes. Illuminating as always, my friend. The officials got the puck in hand, and he's ready to start things up again. The Jackets showing they're able to come right back and tie score. it up. Scored We're still in the first period here tonight. Plenty of hockey left to decide this one. The puck had great focus on the play. Stopping the shot. Will the blocker save? At the point. Over to Klesla. Time of the goal. Klesla able to send the puck out. And now the Canucks get it back. In the neutral zone. Over to the right wing. He shoots, and it's deflected off the right pad. Klesla puts the puck out center. Frischet brings the puck up through the zone. And he shoots. 
Saves it with a stick. Allen over to Carter. Over to the left wing. And now Vancouver with it across the line. The Canucks have got themselves in a tie game. He scores! And they go ahead here. One goal in the first period. You're going to love this replay, folks. One flick of the wrist, and he hits Pater. A low wrist shot goes in. And, Harry, you got to believe he knew he was going to put that puck there because he didn't have time to think about where to shoot. He already decided. And he dented the twine on that one. They're ready in that big circle. The Canucks have the one goal lead now. First period of hockey. Lots of time to decide this one. Back to the point. And he scores! Let's watch the replay of that goal, Bob. The defender's making it pretty difficult for the goalie to see the puck. He sure was, and the shooter was looking for the right time to pop one off and hit the window perfectly. Yeah, and he did a great job just camping out behind the screen until he saw the opening. And we've got the face-off coming up. The Canucks have got themselves the two-goal lead now. What an incredible position to be in, especially this early in the game. Now the Canucks get it back. Suchi passes it up the center. And here come the Blue Jackets. Marshall along the boards. He centers the puck. Bob, look at the location of the right pad. It was right there to stop this wrist shot. Has it at center ice. Oh, and there they go, the Canucks on the move. Latowski collects the puck off that long pass. Marchant getting it out there, and here's the two-on-two -two rush. If Cluche makes the save, and he lets that one go by, this game is a one-goal game. He does not want that to happen. Up through the zone. Here's an opportunity. It's passed to the point. Cook in the corner. Linden took a stick to the midsection. Oh, I don't know if the ref saw that one. He centers it. It's tipped towards the net, but he makes that stop. Denis delivers the puck back to his defenseman. Herdina has it at center ice. Sent to the left wing. Along the boards with the puck. It's sent into the corner. Shubarov holding the puck in the neutral zone. To Linden, here's the... He scores! And when you talk about a three-goal lead in the first period, you are talking about some very special offense. That's creating a very tough hill to climb. Check the goalie out on this rush, Bob. It looks like he's in a crouch and was just overwhelmed by the attackers. And he just can't get to the puck in time. That's a tough break for the goalie. Skater's ready now for the official to drop the puck. The Canucks are on a rampage Canucks here tonight. Goal! Wow, this is just the first period. And they've already Number built 16. a three goal lead. Talk about Linden. high scoring. It's fed Fourth back goal. to the point. McCarthy goal. skating with it along the board. Gets it over to the Number left wing. 13. There it is, Columbus on the move. Shoots it, two minutes left in the period. Kluche able to grab it with the glove. He's controlling the puck at center ice. Puck over to the right wing. Carried into the corner. And it's handled by Bertuzzi. He decides to center the puck. Tries the wraparound. It goes to the defenseman. Odd man rush, three on two now. Taken across the blue line by the Blue Jackets. Zhirdev knocks the puck to the center. And 
And that will do it for the end of the period. 4 to 1. This reminder, hockey fans, there will be an open practice the morning of the next home game. Practice will be at 10 a.m. And the first period of hockey provided some nice highlights. We're getting to look back on a few right now. The Canucks were tied early on and had the incredible burst of goals to end the first period. Wow. Harry, these guys are just turning it on. Things are clicking for them. Perfect passes, getting opportunities. How are they doing it? Here's a game where the advantage is really in the intangibles. You can't really look at the numbers in this game and say it's a one-sided battle from either team's perspective. This is one of those games where you watch and wait and see who comes up with the big play or who can capitalize on the other team's mistakes. The Canucks taking to the ice here with a very confident lead. You've got to imagine those third and fourth lines will be getting a bit more ice time in the second period. Just about ready to start the second period as the ref gets ready to drop the puck. And it's center ice. It's picked up by Columbus. Has it on the boards. And Vancouver has the puck. Defensive zone. From Morrison. Nasland. Center ice. Oh, and a chance for Vancouver now. To the right wing. These fans came here tonight to see a big win. Harry, they're not being let down. So far it's happening. They just want to make sure it keeps going. Across the blue line. He scores! And this is what they have to do here in the second. Score! And now, only back two. Let's take another look at this attack, Bob. You can see the goalie preparing. He gets into a crouch here. When you don't know when or where the shot is coming from, you're at a huge disadvantage. It was a defensive breakdown. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. The Blue Jackets showing some Columbus signs goal. of life. Or right now, they've got this game to within two goals. And they've got... He scores! We've just started the second period. And that goal brings them now within just one goal of tying this game. He got up real close and let a wicked backhander go for the goal. He really took advantage of his position and a well-aimed shot. All goalies will tell you, backhanders are hard to handle. Here's the face-off coming up. The Blue Jackets have really accomplished a big goal with that and last goal. goal. They're now Score. within one of tying this game in the second period. Yeah. Let's see if they can take advantage of the momentum goal. now. Of the and season. here come the Blue Jackets from Nash to Verdina. It goes period. over to the right side. The Canucks clear it out. And the Blue Jackets touching up for the icing call. Has been approaching a new milestone in career goals. I'm not sure he's aware of it, though. Probably not. He just wants to give his all game in and game out. When the milestones come, it's just a nice surprise. They're getting ready for the face-off to the left side of the goalie. Over to the point. Herdina with the puck. The puck is set. Kluche saves it. His team's got a one-goal advantage right now. Jovanovski called on that spear. Penalty coming up for him. Yes, this is spearing. There's no place for it in the game of hockey. This is a good call by the referee, and I think the penalty should be much more severe. Maybe an automatic suspension will stop all this crap. We'll see where this spearing call ends up later on in this game. This is such a serious call. Retaliation. If not today, then maybe at a later date. Luce doesn't want to leave a hole near the post as he protects the left side of the net. Harry, sometimes crowds are tentative. Only a one-goal lead. But not tonight. There is nothing. He scores! Again! He is so hot, folks. 
Two quick back-to-back -back goals for this man. Less than three minutes between the two goals. Check out the wraparound shot on this replay, Bob. It looks like the goalie couldn't quite cover the right side in time. Yes, sir. One good poke puts another crooked number on the scoreboard. The skaters look ready in that big circle. The Blue Jackets showing well, they can goal. get Scored back by. right into Number it. 61. Boy, that was a big Dash. goal. Second period, goal. that was a very big goal. Of the you season. do not want Assistant to be down goal. when the second Number period is over. Yard. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. The shot is redirected, but he still makes it. Bob, I'll tell you this from experience. If your butt is dragging on the bench, this is music to your ears. Listen to that chant from the home team in a game that's... He scores! And they now have the one goal lead with that go-ahead goal here in the second period. I love to see a great saucer pass like this one. Let's have a look at it again, Bob. Oh, baby, that was nice. It's one thing when you have to try to pass the puck around players on the ice. But when you include that vertical element, it's a whole different art form. Yes, indeed. Face-off coming up, ready to get the action started. The Blue Jackets get the go-ahead goal. We're watching second period hockey tonight here on the 2K Sports Network. It's a one-goal game right now. Chimera dishes the puck, center ice. There it is, Columbus on the move. Passes over to the left wing. Kluche with a terrific save. His team looking to get this one tied. Great effort by this home crowd tonight, even with their club down by one. And they're hoping that their effort will translate into at least one more goal. He feeds it up the left side. He carries it over the blue line. Oh, and a chance for Columbus now. The corner, he tries the wraparound. Salo sends it up to the center. Nasland from Morrison. He shoots. It hits a player and then up off the glass. Over to the right wing. And they're getting there now two on two. It's fed back to the point. Chimera is in the corner. A little rough action with a stick. Olin under pressure sends it out, but no one can get to it. And the Blue Jackets touching up for the icing call. Nasland has a plus minus rating in tonight's game of minus three. The skaters will face off, left of the net. He makes a centering pass. And now the Canucks with it in their own zone. Bertuzzi brings it up through the zone. The Canucks give their forwards a rest with a shift change. Up the left side, center ice. There it is, Columbus on the move. He shoots. Gunning for the hat trick in the second period. We would not have seen many hats thrown onto the ice because they're playing away from home. But that wouldn't have made it any less sweet. To the point. And now Columbus in their zone. Berard with the pass up the center. Here come the Blue Jackets with a chance. He scores! That's number two for him tonight. He's got the shooting touch, folks. One more, and it's the hat trick. Here's a look at that great offensive attack again, Bob. The goalie was in the crouch position as they came in on him. He's in the crouch position, trying to maximize his defense. You just can't stop all of those that come at you. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. The Blue Jackets go ahead Scored two goals by. now Number with that last conversion. Two Redeemed. goal lead, Eight second goal. period. Six Not a bad goal. game they've season. played here tonight. And he brings four. it straight up. Jurdev carries the puck near the board. The he period. centers the puck. Frische fires out the pass, but that's up for grabs. He passes it to the right wing. He shoots. Now Holtra in deep. He scores. The wraparound worked. Just got the space he needed. That shot looked like it came from behind the plane of the goal line. I can't believe it, Bob. What an amazing shot. Only the best shooters can pull off a play like that, Harry. What an eye and what a feel for pinpointing a target.
And we're going to start up action again. The Blue Jackets showing they are still in control here tonight. Well, that last goal puts them up by three. And the clock is now on their side, too, here in the second. Oh, and here come the Blue Jackets. And oh, and Kluche stops the slap shot with the stick. Chubarov with the puck at center ice. And it's up. He stops him, shuts him down on that breakaway. And Denis makes the pass to the defenseman. Over to Vaborny from Herdina. He shoots it. Oh, the puck hits the post. Linden gains possession in the defensive zone. Vaborny in control of the puck. The centering pass is made. Kluche with the glove save. Over to Chubarov. He's got the puck in the neutral zone. He's in the corner. One minute remaining in the period. McCarthy hits the puck out center. And it's taken along the boards. The puck to the left wing. Cook with the puck, and he scores! And that's exactly what they needed desperately here in the second period. If they can't get one more in a hurry, they could be just one goal shy of tying. Forget the goal, how about this pass? Well, he flipped it over to his man on target, and the shooter did the rest. I'll tell you, Bob, he could not have flipped it any better if he was making those hot pancakes. Illuminating as always, my friend. And we are just about ready to resume play here. The Canucks got what they wanted, and not a moment too soon either. They have been out hustled offensively, and getting that last goal to bring them to within two here in the second could just be the spark that lights the fire for this club to cut the margin to one. That's the end of the period, and the score after two is seven to five. The Jackets coach is looking on, very happy with his team right now. The game plan executed very nicely here tonight. We might see a bit more conservative play as they protect this two-goal lead. The third period is just about to begin. Bob, there's nothing not to love about this passion. Listen to the crowd trying to rev up their guys, down by a couple of goals. And if this team comes back, Harry, this will be one of the reasons. It dings off a post. A little help from the goal post there. These guys are up by a pair, looking good and strong, and getting all the breaks. Stick came up on them. The refs won't let you get away with that too much. Jovanovski passes it up the center. Denis stops it. He's keeping that two-goal lead alive. Holds the puck at center. And here they come, trying to get something going. It is shot, and it's saved by Kluche. The puck sent to the defenseman. Morrison is out at center ice. Bertuzzi has it along the boards. Denis makes the pass to the defenseman. Frische skating with it at center. You have to love the way this guy hits. He finds his target, zeroes in, and finishes him off. And he's got a chance. One man back to Naslin. And along the boards with the puck, he decides to center the puck. Oh, and here come the Blue Jackets. Over to the point. Zherdev has possession along the boards. And oh, the puck hits a post. Oh, he just grazed the post with that one. Otherwise, he'd have given his team a three-goal lead. And Denis with a save. That shot was stopped by the pad. He feeds the puck to the left side. Here they come, three on two. Fired! The puck now to the right wing. The Canucks are going to get some fresh skaters out there, changing out their forwards. To Zherdev from Berard, taken across the blue line by the Canucks. 
from Carter to Sedin. The he scores. This game is a one-goal game right now. They pull back into this one in a big way here in the third period and overcome that two-goal deficit. We have to look at this one again, Bob. It was a pinpoint pass. It sure was, Harry. And as soon as the puck got to the shooter, it was a goal. That's the way it should be. You almost know sometimes, feeding the puck like that, if you've got a man in position to shoot, you're going to have a great opportunity to score. And they did just that here. That they did. And we're ready for the face-off. The Canucks are in a much better Canucks position goal! after that goal. They really needed that. Scored if you're down two goals in the third, you've really got to get Henry something going City! on the offensive to spark something for your Fifth whole demeanor. That goal right there did it. Season. And I expect to Assisted see a lot of energy out there for these 22. guys. And they're going Daniel to need it too City! if they expect to tie this up. And the Canucks have had 24 attempts tonight. Carter! Time of the goal. 7.55 of the third period. Denis camps out on the left side of the goal. And here's Vancouver off the draw. And Columbus has the puck defensive zone. From Suchi over to Vaborny. Taken across the blue line by the Blue Jackets. Here come the Blue Jackets with a chance. Vaborny got a bit of a slash there. Maybe enough for a call. The Jackets started off slowly, but have really rebounded after being down after the first intermission. They've got a one-goal lead now, Harry. Any thoughts as we head down the stretch? They're up by one goal, and if you ask me my opinion, I'd say look at the numbers for penalty minutes. They've been better at keeping out of the box tonight, and the smarter, more disciplined team usually wins the game. Suchi from Denis to the left wing. Nash through the zone. Kluche makes the save. His team down a goal right now. Doesn't want to give up another. Jovanovsky pins him up against the boards. It's frozen and they blow the whistle. The Blue Jackets have controlled the puck all night, denying their opponent any opportunity and grabbing a one-goal lead in the process. You hit the key there, Bob. When they have the puck, their opponent doesn't, and that means the lead is much easier to hold on to. Here comes the face-off to start the action again. The face-off taken by Columbus in their own zone. He brings it past the blue line. Kluche stops that one going low, and he scores! And it goes off the goaltender and ends up in the net for a goal. I know this happens from time to time, Harry, but that fact certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not. Bob, in fact, looking at this replay, you can actually see the look of horror when he realizes that the puck hit him and still went in. There's a little period of time between that little tap of the puck and the signal for a goal. And that period of time feels like forever to the goalie. And I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach as well. They're ready in that big circle. The Blue Jackets Come extended the their lead to two goals. With it. He scores! That's three goals tonight. And you know, you get a feeling these fans were ready with the hats in hand to throw them to the ice. This building is on fire right now. This is a great atmosphere for hockey. Wow. Off the glove and in. He reached out to make the catch, but it just didn't happen. And the puck sneaks in. Bob, he thought he had that one. You can see it in his eyes just before they became huge with the realization he didn't actually make the catch. And the result? A goal. And we are just about ready to resume play here. The Canucks have been able to shrink that two-goal deficit. Canucks what a time goal! to do a two here in the third period. 
Still enough time, though. Now we're going to see whether or not the momentum flows with them. Fifth goal, 21st point of the season. Assisted by number 13, Artem Chubarov. Time of the goal, 13.42 of the third period. This face-off is to the left of the goalie. And Vancouver wins the draw in their zone. He brings the puck through the zone. Chimera with that creative play. He centers it. And now Vancouver in their own zone. Cook holding the puck at center ice. Here come the Canucks with a chance. Over. He scores! He clearly was not satisfied with just the hat trick as he's potted another to give him a total of four in the evening. Simply amazing. Well, here's a beautiful saucer pass to set this goal up. It could not have happened without that assist. Gorgeous play. Sometimes plays like that go unnoticed, but I'll tell you what, his coach noticed it. Superb job. Tie game here in the third. Teams ready for the drop of the puck. And here come the Blue Jacket. He scores! A third period goal. Put it on the board and give them the lead. Wow. Good choice to go to the right side on this shot. Let's have a look at this goal, Bob. Bingo. It caught the inside of the right post. Just enough to end up behind the goal. Team. Exciting goal. I love hearing those goal posts get rung. That's a pretty play. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. The Blue Jackets now lead the game, and what a time to be ahead. We're in the third period, and it's a one-goal game right now of the season. In the slot, this was a huge stop. We are late in the third period, and he maintained the one-goal lead with that stop. He's got it over the blue line. He scores again. Two goals in two minutes tonight. He is on a roller coaster ride. Look at them. They're looking around as if they're saying, did that just go in? They looked like they were stonewalled on that play. And yet they send the shot out, and it goes in. Sometimes you've just got to take the chance, Harry. Right, Bob. Take the chance and take the shot. Every once in a while, it goes in. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. The Jackets were able to succeed in getting a two-goal lead here in the third. Now, let's see if they sit back and play a little defensive hockey. Assisted by number 32. Two minutes left in the period. Time of the goal. Pulse sends it up to the center. Here come the Blue Jack, and he scores! And that's number three for him. A hat trick on the road. Not an easy thing to do, and he's just... And we've got the face-off coming up. The Blue Jackets are putting this game away goal. here tonight Scored with that last goal. Three-goal lead, John third Herdine. period. Looks Ninth like goal. a win coming up for these guys. Of the season. Take it across Assisted the blue line by the Canucks. It's shot. He Zero makes the blocker save. Passes it to the right 30. wing. I love how he just eyed the shooter and threw up his right pad to block that shot. Period. What a stop. Brule has control, and it's going to be two on two. This game is in the books. Our final score, 11 to 8. The third star of the game, number 61, Rick Nash. The second star of the game, number 9, David DeBorn. And the first star of the game, number 38, John Erdina. It's now time for the highlight reel. Our crew has selected some of the best moments from tonight's game. Make it or break it. 
these plays to find the outcome here tonight. The Blue Jackets finish with a three-goal victory tonight. Not much of a match here, but we got a chance to see some nice goals. How do you look at tonight's game from a statistical point of view? Well, Bob, one thing I liked that this team did tonight, they did not shoot themselves in the foot by taking undisciplined penalties. As a result, you look up at the scoreboard, and the score really matches up with the discipline, a one-goal victory. And that's going to do it. NHL action on the 2K Sports Network. For Harry Neal, I'm Bob Cole. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll catch us next time around on the NHL.